everyone, and welcome to CCO Top 5 in 5. This time, plays that make the table go... Ugh. That's right, we're back and we're brought to you by FusionGamingOnline.com, your source for all your gaming needs. And don't forget, when you're there, you can use CCO Fusion 5 for all of the gaming supplies or cards that we ever mention in the Top 5 in 5 series. Now, what's number 5? Number 5 is... The early onset cheated in OG Vorinclex. Vorny. Vorny, if you will. Comes in, turns off the game for everybody but you, supercharges you. It's just a feel bad, and nobody's ever gonna look at that and think, oh hooray, they're gonna go, ugh. Yeah, and the person that uh, the person that's gotta kill it, double ugh. Right? Because you're the one doing everybody a favor <laughs> and you get screwed the most. <laughs> Terrible. Number four. Number four is the value cyclonic rift. Not the one that gets you to win the game because you cast it at the end of somebody else's turn right before you start yours. It's the value one because it's in your hand and you have seven mana. Yeah, nobody should ever say the sentence, I have seven mana, why not cyclonic rift? Should not ever be a thing. I'm going to get in for ten damage. Ugh. <sighs> Number three. Number three is any chaos effect that you're going to play with no plan. I'm thinking specifically Warp World. Have a plan. Don't just go in blind. Chaos isn't really that fun for anybody because it doesn't allow them to play their deck. And while it can be great for you and you can Warp World if you have a bazillion permanents, just doing it because you're behind and you hope you can flip something to help you catch up, not the best idea. And what's everybody going to do, Ryan? <sighs> Number two. Number two is a little bit of a meta thing, meta ID, if you will, and it's the three turns too late counter spell. Let me hit you with a situation. You've played something, let's say a Beastmaster Ascension or a Shared Animosity, then you play a creature, then you move to combat, then you attack to kill the table, and somebody goes, hey, why are they taking so much damage? Well, I played this Shared Animosity. Oh, you played that this turn? Yeah. We'll back up. Counterspell. Mm-hmm. Nothing is going to get an ugh. Like you not paying fucking attention. That's right. Especially in the days of VEDH. Somebody's out taking a piss because they drank too much beer. Somebody's sitting in their basement by themselves with their finger up their ass. Nobody's paying as much attention as they should be. And to have your spell get angle shot countered 17 spells later because somebody wasn't paying attention is a real groan inducing play. And not something that, that I don't think anybody's going to appreciate. So be on the ball and play your counter spells or your removal in a timely fashion. Especially during the EDH. And if you don't think you can, maybe lay off the beer a little bit. Play the control deck early so that when you get to game 2-3, you know, you're just going to be playing the aggro stuff. Don't lay off the beer. Lay off the control decks. Play more Brash Taunters. Hell yeah. <laughs> okay. Number one, groan inducing play in Commander. What do you got? omniscience and omniscience type things these are cards that end the game but not right now hmm. the omniscience player might not win but they probably are and it's probably going to take eight or nine turns until they get there unless they have the combo in their hand already yeah omniscience or non-deterministic cards or types of combos right something like infinite turns edric that isn't actually infinite turns you just gotta go until you either whiff or everybody's dead just have a plan. Have a plan. Know what your deck is supposed to do and play into it. And don't be surprised when you drop, hey, all my spells are free for the rest of the game, obliterate, and not expect your friends to go, <sighs> Okay, that was Top 5 in 5 Grown Inducers, brought to you by FusionGamingOnline.com, your source for all your gaming needs, even your omniscience needs. Mm -hmm. Don't forget CCO Fusion 5 promo code at checkout is going to let you save 5% off your entire order and let them know that their partnership with CCO is a good one. Which it totally is. Finally, big thanks to all the Patreon supporters over at patreon.com slash CCO podcast. You can see their names right now.